Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here is Abdul and today we are doing another unboxing, this time from About Vintage. Um, About Vintage is a Scandinavian Danish company that uh, makes uh, watches from a couple of years, so it could be considered as a micro brand. And they were kind enough to send me this watch um, for me to uh, review, unbox and review and to keep afterwards. So this is a sponsored video, so be sure to uh, check out their website and the link for the watch in the comments below in the description uh, below and like i said before this is a sponsored video that means that they send me the watch for free and so just uh just for your information but i'll try to be as neutral as possible as always so let's open the box i didn't open it before i just came in the mail in the ups very fast uh, 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 delivery, I have to say, because we just talked about this two days ago and they delivered it in three days, which is incredibly good. So, as you can see, you have the wooden box, real wooden box. You have here the carton, Let's put this on the side. And inside the box, we can see the watch that I got is the 1926. Let me take this first. So to show you what is this 1926. So basically this 1926 is a exploring underwater watch. So it's a diver and it has a vintage inspired design. Gentlemen, this is the instruction manual. So how to wind the watch, how to operate it, which I think is it's a very cool, cool uh, thing from uh, about vintage because they sent emails also about how to um, keep the watch, maintain the watch, uh, close the crown and all this stuff, which for a, a person who just uh, doesn't have a lot of watches or is his first watch, I think it's pretty invaluable information as well. So I really like this about uh, what they're doing. So as you can see, we have a vintage inspired diver with a vintage inspired size. I'm trying to get this sticker off even comes on a NATO. So let me take this box out. And here we go. Nice, really nice. So we have a blue colored diver. Um, this is limited to 999 pieces, this virgin. So every color is limited to 999. And bezel action pretty nice I think 120 clicks everything lines up so let me get the caliper out by the way I'm, I'm wearing still my zodiac loving it uh, pretty cool watch uh, be sure to check out my unboxing and review video of the watch as well so let's take the caliper so the watch should be 39 millimeters in diameter so let's check yeah around 40 luck to luck 46 perfect size thickness 13 10. it has a double domed sapphire crystal so as you can see here the dome so it gives us this uh, vintage look and has a if i'm not mistaken 20 millimeter lug width Exactly, so you have this 4020, which is a, a perfect um, symmetry of the dial and the lugs. Um, this collection, by the way, supports also the ocean cleanup. So you're they're, uh, giving up some of the profits for ocean cleanup, which is a great, great cause. Um, in the back, um, you have actually a closed case back, so you cannot see the movement. But in the back you have the Miyota 8250. Here you can see the case back with the design of a wave design in I'm trying to get the best lighting. It's pretty hard. Copenhagen Miyota 8215 automatic 100 meters of water resistance. And the movement is rated at minus 20 to plus 20 
and the watch comes with a NATO you know I like NATOs and I'll just keep this one maybe in the box because I would like to try this watch on different kinds of straps oh and it comes actually with easy easy to change spring bars as well which is quite nice so here we have the watch and I'll give you a little bit idea why I like this watch because it has a really cool design it has a sandwich case as you can see you have here at the dial two layers or three layers actually in the middle is the uh, loom you have a oh that's that's a good crown screw down crown a little bit like an onion crown which is pretty cool to to have so the movement is hand winding has hacking at hacking no hacking it has also the ghost position so that you know if you don't like the ghost position I might go for the quartz um, but yeah I'll keep all these stuff for the review as well which I will cover then all this stuff in depth so actually let me put this on directly on a rubber strap which is always good to have around with the uh, the spring bars which are much easier to use than normal spring bars and here we go on my 17.1 centimeter wrist actually looks quite nice on this rubber strap so i'll leave it here and i will cover all the other stuff like i said in the review so if you have any questions about this watch or any other watch please leave them in the comment section especially if it's this watch so i can cover the uh, answers of the questions that you will post in the review and as always this invitation to like subscribe hit the bell button where you find here the subscribe button and on the left and on the right a couple of videos that might interest you as well thanks again and see you in the next one bye bye